So we're going to look at calculating a definite integral with TI-84 using the, N, the FN int function. That function is under math. It's under this math list. We just don't see it yet. But if we trace down far enough, we have N deriv and we have F int. So number 9 is going to be the command we want. Now the first argument this takes is the function. So let's do put in our function. x cubed plus 2x squared minus 1. Now, we need to enter a few more things. First off, <clears throat> we need to tell what variable it's using, which is x. Second, we need to enter the limits, the upper and lower limits. It's going to go lower first and then upper. We're doing this one from 3 to 12. And there's our command, we hit enter, and there's our approximation. This can also be done using the graph to show you that so if, let's say we put our function in at y1, so our function was x cubed plus 2x squared minus 1. So if we already had that plotted, maybe we were looking at the graph to see what it looked like. Well, we go out of here. We're going to call up the fint command again. So it's number 9. And now, instead of having to type it in the whole graph, I can just go to vars, y vars, function. I had that in at y1. Now it's automatically put in there for me. The other rest will look the same. x, our lower limit, is 3. Our upper limit is 12. And we get the same answer. There is one more way to calculate this. So we've put it in as a graph, and we can graph it in a standard window. So here's our graph. Turns out from the graph we can also do a definite integral. So second, calculate. Number 7 here is a definite integral. Notice it asks for the lower limit, 3, and it asks for the upper limit, 12. Now we got an error in this case. The reason we got an error is because of our domain. If we look at our window, our window only goes from negative 10 to 10 in the x's. You must have within your window your limits if you're going to use this method. So we need this to go up to at least 12. So if I change that to 13, bring up my graph again. Let's try this one more time. Second, calculate integral from 3 to 12. And we get 6,288.75. And you see it even shades in the area for us. We can't quite see where the top is because we don't have it in our window, but we could play around with our window if we wanted to see it. And those are three ways of doing a definite integral with the TI-84. TI-83, same commands, and similar with the other versions of the TI calculators.